can't believe I'm doing a video on this. Hey everyone, Zolan Vamus here, and welcome to a sort of different video. This this video is going to be called Everything Wrong with Modern Day Music. Now, I'm going to say one thing before we get started here. Is that I don't I don't hate all modern day music. I like One Republic and 21 Pilots and a few other modern day bands, but that's not what today is about. Today is about the many things that I can think of that modern day music sucks at. All right, shall we get started then? All right, number five, singers who think they can sing, but they actually can't. There are a lot of singers out there who are really not that great. They're okay in the studio, they sound okay, but that's because they're doing a lot of mixing and they're doing a lot of auto-tune and they're doing all that stupid shit. But guess what? When they're doing a live concert, they're not as good as they are in the studio. Now I can think of a few who are really good, who are, in, who are good in and out of the studio. One, Karen Carpenter. I love her singing. Rest in peace. Stephen Wilson, Peter Gabriel, Phil Collins, Colin Blundstone. They are all good singers. In and out of the studio. Now, number four, computer generated shit. I don't know why. That one's one of the big ones. That one's really, really a big problem. Because if you're not going to put any effort into your music, you're not a musician. You are not, you are anything but a musician. You are just someone who is, who, who does a beat and sings to it. You're not making music. Come on. If you have at least one instrument, then I'll call it, then I'll call it music. However, it also has to have a good melody and it has to have a good tune. But guess what? Computers have been taking over and... The more that they keep on going at this, I gotta say, preschoolers could probably make as good music as Drake, which is really sad. That's just sad. Three, orchestra. Now, this ties in with the computer generated shit. But it also doesn't really, because back in the seventies and eighties, you you could you you would have to pay a lot for an orchestra, or you could pay for a couple of maybe a thousand two thousand dollars for a mellotron, which I will explain what a mellotron is. A mellotron is basically a key. It's it's a keyboard. However, they go to acquire, or they go to find, or they go find musicians who have these specific instruments, and they say, okay, for eight seconds, play a B flat, and the choir would sing in a B flat for eight seconds, and some guy would play a cello for eight seconds. And then they would do that for 27 keys. Everything from E to E, three times. So it's really just a three octave keyboard that has choirs, wind instruments, string instruments, organs, all that shit. And it's really cool. My father has one. And I love it. Even the Beatles used a Mellotron in um, Strawberry Fields Forever. That The start of it is a Mellotron. And guess what? You can buy something for $100 that is just as good as strings in an orchestra where you would have to pay $10,000 if you were in 1980. And that is not good musicianship. I'm sorry, but it is not good musicianship. If you're not going to put any time and effort into your music, 
and you're just gonna write lyrics and sing, you're not making music. I don't know why I do this to myself. Ah. To bad lyrics. Some lyrics are just, you know, eh. But I'm talking mainly about country lyrics. Country lyrics are about a truck. <laughs> or guys wanting to get drunk. Which, okay, that's been around for a long time. But if you listen to some Gordy Lightfoot and you're, a cor and you're a country fan, listen to Gordy Lightfoot. You'll love him more because he has really good lyrics. Trust me, I'm a Gordy Lightfoot fan forever, man. His lyrics, whew, they're lit, fam. I hate myself for saying that. Uh, now, this one is the biggest one. This might shake maybe one of you. Number one, I hate lyrics about a girl's ass. I don't want to hear a song about a girl's ass. Not one. It makes me want to kill the record company. Not literally, because that's wrong. But it makes me want to take down the song and shove it into a fiery pit. Of hell. Here's why. If you're an old rocker like me and my father, we write songs about um, some love songs, mainly historical songs, such as Trail of Tears, which is Indians being forced to go from one end of the country of America to the other. And Almost all of them die. It is a historic... It is an American tragedy. And it's fascinating. My dad's song, Time Wells, is about... Is about, um, fucking wormholes in, in space. It's about time travel in space. It's literally an FM song. And if you don't know who FM is, go look them up because I'm not explaining them. But yes, they were a sci-fi space rock progressive rock band from seven from the 70s and i love the hell out of them raging sea by my dad that one was um i don't remember what that one's about <laughs> but yes i hate songs about a girl's ass if you're writing a song about your ass or some or a girl's ass you're a fucking pervert and i don't want to hear it i mean i'm i'm perverted sometimes but in a good way I'm not going to write a song about a girl's ass and saying, Whew, look at that booty. I want to get at some of that. Because, no. Just stop. It's gross. No one wants to hear it. Especially me. All right, that's all I got for today. If you liked what you saw, and if you want to see me rip on old music a little bit, I'll, I'll see what I can dig up. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.